We're here at Lakewood Campground in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the 31st annual Jack Monroe Beach Ride and we're kicking our hooks up in the fight against heart disease. That's right folks, we're hoping the wave, the tide's coming in and we're hoping the horse is going to stand still so we'll get the opening here. We've got Amanda Kissing with uh, TV15 going to be here, Perfect Partners Equine, putting on a lot of good clinics here and Medieval Times is going to be around so we'll see who else we can find today Blair. So stay tuned for more horse sales. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by Campbell's Roofing, roof specialist for residential and commercial. By Arbor One Farm Credit. By Quality Auto Sales, for new and used cars. Make Quality Auto Sales your last stop. By Live Magazine, your devotional publication. Look for this in your local stores and online at alivemagazine.tv. KG Smith Company, now stocking a full line of equine supplies. Visit them in Lake City. And by Cody Young for all of your saddle repair needs. I'm here with Robin Reese, who is Director of Marketing and PR for the American Heart Association. And Robin, tell me how you got started in this position. Yeah, well, so I'm from Nashville uh -huh. um, and was involved with the Heart Association there. Absolutely loved it um, and got very blessed and fortunate with this position in Charleston. So I covered Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and a couple other markets. Okay, and this is the first time that you've done the beach ride, correct? Yes, last year I was here for a day, but uh -huh. this year we have had an incredible turnout. Um, lots of participants raising lots of money. So I decided to come down and be here for the full five days. Yeah, and this year, um, there's a special meaning to this particular ride, correct? There's a little boy that was born named Noah. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we received an email um, last week, and Noah's grandparents come each year with the Saddle Club, um, and they have a great time come the full five days and just really enjoy themselves. Well, um, their grandson was born and was born with a heart defect, mm. um, and so has a really terrible heart condition. So he actually had to be taken to um, Charleston to the hospital there for um, a surgery, for open heart surgery. So when we received that letter, mm -hmm. um, it really meant a lot to us and meant a lot to the riders and the participants, so we decided to dedicate this year's ride to Noah. That's great. Yeah. I'm sure that they really appreciate that. Absolutely. So how many horses do you think are here this weekend? We have over 1,200 horses, um, which is a lot. So I think we we had a lot more sign up, but due to the weather, you know, not as many could make it right. um, for all the people that were in the Northeast. So I think next year we're, we're hoping to um, have even more, yeah. but this year we have about 1,200. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's a lot of horses. <laughs> that is a lot of horses in one campground. It is, yeah. And there's people I understand from all over the state. Correct? Oh, there's or people country. all over the country. <laughs> yeah. So we did a survey a couple of months ago um, and really looked in to see how many how, how many states were were here today mm -hmm. represented today, and we had over 22 states. So that's wow. a lot of people from around that the is. country that are here with us this week. Goodness. Yeah. All right. Well, I understand you've never ridden a horse, right? I have not. No. All right. Well, do you want to get on and give it a try? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. All right. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Surprise her. <laughs> now, um, since you're the director, director of marketing, does the Heart Association have any special meaning to you and your family? Yeah, um, I actually lost three out of my four grandparents from um, heart disease or stroke. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do something like this and give back and be surrounded by people who have also been affected by it really yeah. means a lot. 
So going to work every day is not work, right? No, like I was telling you earlier, my parents have always said, if you find a job that you love, you never yep. work a day in your life. And that's exactly what I feel like we yep. do. And I can speak for most of the staff that we work with. I think they feel the exact same way. Yeah, well, that is great. So how do you feel up on this horse? Nice, it's fun. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. I'm doing what I see in the movies and yeah, smacking the legs. <laughs> Just remember, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right. DP, right? That's his name? Yep, DP. All right, DP. Here we go. <laughs> Folks, join me now, Mark Passarella with Medieval Times and Bill Fjord. What in the world are y'all doing down here on the beach on Friday morning? It's cold. We're freezing. And you own a freezing? Yes, sir. Zeros. <laughs> Well, Mark, we had a great time doing a show with y'all guys a few months back and invited you down here for the beach ride. Just tell me a little bit more what you're doing here with the, uh, what's the name of your horse? It's Zeros. Yeah. He's a Frisian. Zeros is a good representation of what a medieval knight would actually be riding back in 1200s, 1300s. Sturdy, uh, light draft horse, could either pull a carriage and or hold a knight in full armor. So good sturdy horse. Utterly amazing that uh, these horses come across that great ocean there 500 years ago we sit here on a beach enjoying ourselves and I actually I'm on a Spanish type horse here and the Mars Tacky is very very Spanish and stuff so it's pretty, it's pretty amazing tell me about the new show we did the old show when we want to get down there and do another one with tell me about what your new show Mark oh uh, uh, all new storyline okay uh, costumes uh, more special effects uh, new fight choreography a couple new performers uh, you, you won't recognize it from the last show. It's a totally new production. Are you a good guy or bad guy in this one? I'm the head knight at Myrtle Beach. I have to do them all. Yeah, but I always it. prefer to do the bad guy. It's a lot more fun. Yeah. Well, Mark, we really enjoyed speaking with you here. How can folks get in touch with you? Well, uh, there's MedievalTimes.com, or you can call the Myrtle Beach location at 236-8080. All right, guys, that's Mosey on down the beach. I don't think Mosey is what we need to use on these type horses, do you? Uh, no. Charge. All right, let, let's show them a little steps here. See what my little horse will do, guys. Make him, make him do something there, Bill. I know he can step out. Simpson, you, you see that? Amazing. All right, Simpson, you see that? You need to. What? <laughs> Folks, join me now, Bill Dewar. From Medieval Times. Bill, what's your responsibilities and title at uh, Medieval? I am the head horse trainer there, so I get the luxury of training all the horses for everybody and uh, playing with horses all day long. Well, what you got, what you own there today? This is an Andalusian that, that I got on my high school horse. Uh, he does all the fancy tricks. Oh, Spanish yeah. Spanish walk, piaf, massage, lavade. Well, this is your first time on the beach with him? We've been down here at the beach, but it's been a few years since right. we've been down I got here. So. Well, we appreciate y'all coming out and really helping out. I think it's the 31st uh, annual Jack Monroe Beach Ride. It's yes. a great calls and stuff. And uh, But I'm really impressed, uh, Bill, with what watching this horse do. Can you just tell me a little bit thing, what you do with this horse at the show? Well, he's the horse that I do my solo act on. Okay. So we uh, we get to show off and do everything that we do, all our tricks there and in, in, uh, in our routine there. Right. Well, how about your costume there? So you are a knight of the round table. Just tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> I don't know much. Yeah. Um, I am in this show, in the new show, I am a, a gift to the king. Okay. So gotcha. I come out and the horse is the, horse is the gift to the king. Right. Uh, from the Northmen. I got gotcha. so, Yeah, I'm part of, the, part of being a gift there. So I come out and show them what we can do and and why the horse is worthy of a gift for a king. I got you. Well, listen, yes. we really uh, enjoyed getting to know that a little bit. Let's just ease on down the beach here and see, see what it. they do. Hey there, I'm Brian Lane with North Georgia Trailer Sales where we have a complete line of horse trailers, cargo trailers, and utility trailers. So if you have a trailer need, please call us at 770-205-0356 and here's your vet tip of the day. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Kaplan with Metalon Animal Services here in Laura, South Carolina. I'm here today to talk to you about sunburn. Uh, I'm here with Chief and he's, he's in Appaloosa and a lot of these guys have some pretty pale noses that can get sunburned in the summer. Um, a good tip would be to get some of the Copper Tone Babies waterproof sunscreen and apply it to your horses once a day. Um, if it's a real sunny day, you may want to apply it twice and you can also put a fly mask on them to make sure that they don't get too much sun. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 843-756-6560 or masequine at gmail.com. Hi, I'm Aaron Brooks, Sales Manager with Doug Harley Davidson, proud sponsor of this show. Stay tuned for more Horse Tales with Blair and the PD Cowboy. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by Williamsburg Feed and Tech, your Seminole Feed and Carhartt clothing shop. Equestrian Images, making memories together. Carolina Hoofbeats, the Carolina's premier equine magazine. By Marsha Hewitt, equine specialist for the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. And by Mark Hossman Training Center, where helping people ride better horses is not just a slogan, it's an everyday occurrence. Join me now, Marsha Hewitt from Bishopville, South Carolina, yes. the equine specialist for the Department of Agriculture. Right. And I want to mention that I'm very thankful that the Department of Agriculture is our title sponsor. Yes, we've, Marcia, been, we've been working on that for about a year and I'm glad it finally came through for you. Well, Marsha, uh, you've been a friend for a good while now, quite an accomplished horse person. Mm -hmm. You wear a lot of hats in your position. You want to just tell yeah. the folks a little bit what you do? Well, people ask me that all the time. What do you do for the <laughs> horse industry? Uh, my job is marketing, so we promote the horse industry. Everything from this beach ride, which I've been on this steering committee for two years, promoting the beach ride to people all over the state. And the last two years, they've had almost record numbers, so I'm real happy about that. But I work with the thoroughbred industry, the racehorse mm -hmm. folks. Um, we've got the King Street Trials coming up. I do publicity for them. The Colonial Cup and the Carolina Cup, I do publicity for him, for them in the form of news releases, sending emails, social media, that sort of thing. Uh, and I carry posters all over the place. Well, I, we've had Commissioner Weathers on the show numerous oh, times, and me and you, every time we get in yeah. front of Commissioner Weathers, we're preaching what horses mean to the economy of South Carolina. Yes. And one thing we're trying to do that we're really united on me and you is and uniting all breeds and all disciplines, you know, yes. to inform and entertain the folks here in South Carolina and all over the Southeast. Mm -hmm. So Marshall, like I say, we're going to be working hard behind the scenes this year, really uh -huh. to promoting the horses. Anything particular do you want to convey to the audience what in, the, in South Carolina, what we're doing for horses? Well, yes, the economic impact of horses. People have absolutely no idea the economic impact generated by the horse industry. And I'm real happy this January, I've been on the PD Tourism Commission for mm -hmm. years. We are doing a segment on equitourism at the Governor's Conference in January. One of my presenters will be Sarah Nelson here with the Beach okay. Ride. Um, to talk about the income generated by the beach ride. When you have 11, 1,200 horses come, that's come and stay for a week, they're generating a lot of income. And about 60% of those riders are from out of state. So that's tourism money coming into the state that we otherwise wouldn't get. Um, also having Ed Scanlon from Aiken, he's a big mm -hmm. polo um, expert. He's going to do a segment on Aiken. I have uh, Terry Teed from Camden is going to talk about the Colonial okay. Cup, the Carolina Cup, the economic impact of those two races on the state. Tommy Doyle from Charleston with Palmetto Carriage mm -hmm. Company. He's going to be a, a big part of that seminar. He actually is bringing horses and carriages for people to be driven around the farmer's market, which is, is kind of neat. And he's going to talk about the tourism aspect of his business, right. the carriages. So we're trying to cover the whole state in various um, disciplines. But there's just there's a lot of horse activity. We also will have someone from PRT talking about the, the state parks and the income generated there. 
But folks, there you go. If a horse could talk, they would have Martha <laughs> doing it. Straight from the horse's mouth. Okay. Joining me now is Amanda Kenseth, who is co-host of Carolina and Company Live that comes on every day on WPDE at 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. Is that correct? That's right. Thank you so much for being here with us. And tell us how it is working with Cecil Chandler. It's interesting. It's, uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. He's quite the character. And we have a lot of fun together on the show. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been doing the show for about three years. And Cecil's been there, my co-host, for two. OK. And you're not originally from Myrtle Beach, are No, you? I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. OK. And I've lived several places, but uh, finally landed out here in South Carolina. So what brought you here? Looking at it right here. Yeah, the beautiful ocean. beach. I came here totally from the beach, and uh, I've been here about six years. I, I just can't tear myself away from the beach. I absolutely love it. Yeah, you can't beat that. So um, have you ever ridden a horse before? I have. I actually started riding off and on um, ever since I was a little girl. Uh huh. And I, you know, every year I ask my parents for a pony, but I never got one, but I still got a lot of opportunities to ride. I, I even worked at a horse ranch for a while because I love horses so much, so it was great to be able to be around them. And, you know, every yeah. horse has its own personality, and yeah. you get to know them. That's true. So um, we're here today for the American Heart Association Beach Ride. Um, and have you had anybody in your family affected by... Heart disease. Uh, I have my um, my grandparents have passed away from heart problems. Um, my mom actually has had a quadruple bypass oh, goodness. surgery. Um, she's got stents put in. Uh, she's had a lot of problems. So the American Heart Association is very close to my heart. Uh -huh. um, you know, and I love to support them in every way and supporting yeah. them with the beach ride. That's yeah. great. This is my first time ever riding a horse on a beach. Yeah. It's a little different with the sand, but. I know. I think they have a little trouble getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, um, well, we appreciate you being here today. Um, and tell us a little bit about, I know you've been married for a couple of years and uh -huh. I'm getting married um, in April. Any Congratulations. Thank you. Any advice? <laughs> Take time for you guys as a couple. Yeah. Um, especially we have a, a baby now. And yeah. uh, it's very important to take our couple time, you know, plan a date night. You get so busy working and caught up in doing different things uh, that you really have to devote time to each other. Yeah. I would say that and never go to bed angry. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great words of wisdom. And we're going to keep riding along. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed your ride on the beach. Absolutely. I've loved it. Thanks for having me. And hopefully you can be here again next year. You bet. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Robin Tillman. I work with AXA. Stay tuned for more Horse Tales with Blair and the PD Cowboy. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by Mickey Finn's, your one-stop party shop with two locations to serve you in Florence. Ashley Jones, for all your farrier needs. Call Ashley at 843-992-6723. By Pine View Enterprises, for all your trailer, horse cargo, and utility needs. Also check out their full line of golf carts and storage buildings. See Randall Jones for the best deals in the Southeast. By King Street Auction Company, buying and selling new and used equipment, tractors, and real estate. Call Alton Brown Jr. at 843-382-2121. And by Marshalls Marine. When you need horsepower for your boat, call Marshalls Marine. Folks, I'm standing here with Jack, a nice looking mule, which is our state work animal. And standing next to Jack is my good friend Tyler Papp from Myrtle Beach, but old Tyler, he, he's young, but he's got a lot of rodeos on him. Tyler, you left out of this area and went off to college. Tell us a little story. Oh, well, I left here and went to college in uh, Marshall, Missouri, Missouri Valley. And then uh, I moved to Roscoe, Montana and was working on a ranch out there. And um, Well, with the horse tail I'm going to talk about today, we're going to, me and a bu buddy of mine, Trevor, was going out to gather some cows and doctor some yearlings one morning. We was I was riding a young horse, and he was riding his older horse. And we was coming back from doctoring all these cows, and uh, the, my horse said, we went to close the gate, and about the time I closed the gate, the horse jumped into the fence, and it shocked him, and shocked me, and knocked me on the dirt, and my horse left me. <laughs> and then uh, we were out there in the, you know, this colt's in a 500-acre pasture, and then Trevor takes off on his, his older horse and ropes him, and ends up 
you know, bring ropes him, ropes the horse and brings it back to me and I step up on him and ride him back. But well, folks, you got the shocking truth from Tyler Pack. <laughs> What a fun day we've had here at Lakewood Campground for the American Heart Association ride. And this ride was to benefit a little boy named Noah. And there has just been a great outpour of support from the community and for about 20 states. So it's great. Wow. Blair, like I say, it's just humbling privilege to be down here. And not only the equine folks, it's everybody. The support, the love, and the support. And it's just a privilege to be here, Bear. It really is. And I want to give you a compliment. Folks, she's usually on DP, but today she's on Spirit. You've really come a long way today, Blair. And the weather this morning was mighty chilly, but uh, it's, it's warm now. Yep, we always joke about it. I mean, whenever we do a show, the weather is either really hot, really cold, or raining. And this morning, it was really cold. I want to say a big thank you to all of our sponsors. We could not do this without you. And don't forget, if you've missed an episode, you can check it out on our website at horsetailstv.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's right, Blair. Folks, until next week, keep your reins low, your hands squat, and God bless this great country of ours. Let's See you go. next week.